I hate this game. Cinnabar again! And I got 12 Cinnabar. Oh, I got six more Dolium. Let's go, dude. What do you even do? Today! We do the best farm route in the entire game for Ori Calcum, Cinnabar, Polvium, and even Voidor. My name's Clay Statics. We're running right into it. Before we get started, we're going to go over the stuff we need to make this work. So, full mining gear, right? 4.8 plus on all pieces, at least mandatory in my opinion. Necklace, 8.8. .8. The prefixes for these, obviously for the necklace, it says adored mining luck. And for the armor, it says reinforced mining luck. If you're searching for it in the marketplace, that's the easiest way to go about it. We're also going to need a crazy pickaxe. Make sure you have mining yield and mining luck on it. Without these two things... Your tool sucks. There's two more things we're going to need before we go, and we got strong proficiency boosters minimum. Uh, you can use the max tier ones, but I think the powerful tier fives cost like too much, in my opinion. They are definitely worth it, but you make your choices. The last thing we're going to need is salted roasted vegetables. The reason we need them is when we take a look over at how Void Ore drops, it needs a minimum of 1800 mining luck. This is actually like very important to know. So with your percentage boosts and your 2,000, you're, you're rolling into luck game. One more thing before we head into Shattered Mountain. We're going to take a look at our house. Minor mining gathering trophies. You can have up to three of them, but you need three different houses as each house can only hold one of each. So make sure you get all of them. It's going to min-max your luck. So now we finally talk about where we're actually going to go. Shattered Mountain. Torch mines. And debatably go to Mirkgard or this little trench thing, but you're going to have a horrible time by yourself. And the whole point of this is to do it solo. To show you where all the nodes actually are in Shattered Mountain, in my opinion, like I said, I don't think that's worth it. I don't think Mirkgard's worth it. You can't do them solo. When we look at Scorched Mine, it has 30 or Chilliums just waiting for us. So when we head over to the live run through, I'm going to show you how to get each one of these solo. Obviously, some of them aren't up. It is what it is. You can't get all of them every single time, but you can try. All right, so we're going to learn about the different resets and the hop-ups, and this is the first one. Really resets. Every, every time something says retreating, you can immediately go. So you don't really have to think about it. Attributes, obviously one above 300 strength, so you could one-shot these nodes. This kid's trying to wrap me right now, and this is the biggest part of the run. People are going to try and use mobs to knock you off of the nodes. This is the next reset. You see the mobs are just going to stand there and look at you. This is the easiest way just to get through this solo. Uh, let's see, does big boy have his up? Uh, that guy just came through here, so I'm on server reset, but I think I was just a little bit too late. Yeah, I just came here a little bit too late. So you can actually hop down and like walk. See, I'm like right behind this guy. He can't see me. You tap the node, but you drop down from there and mine it from the top of one of these crates. So now you can choose to go left, but we're going to go right for the sake of doing the full walkthrough. A6 here. He's going to get that. So. Oh, does he get the one tap? No shot. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, chill. Oh, he gets it, dude. See the point? Another ore here. Another ore here. There's another ore right here. The most dangerous one is inside of there. And it's almost impossible to get. Our next reset. Oh, the next easiest reset. It's going to be up here, but my recommendation is that you let them come all the way up before you hop up here. You're going to reset. And if you feel, ins if you feel in spicy... I'm feeling spicy right now. Should have my great axe on, but I'm being a fucking idiot. 
dead. Run. Five in. Oh, I'm so fucked. Hello, game. So sometimes you can get a light roll off, but I mean, if you're feeling spicy and you die, it is what it is. That's why you take the tent here. You can just respawn and go through. Before we go back up, we're going to look at the easy ones. So every time you die, you basically just want to pull back here and just have a peek because these are the easiest ones. And sometimes they respawn pretty quick. And good thing we checked. Dagger the sniper. Looks like our RNG today is a little uh, terrible. Please. Volvium X6. Let's go. Do I have proficiency boosters on me? I'm terrible at the game because I'm not running proficiency boosters right now and I only have two left. So this is where you just take a peek and nothing up. All right, back up we go. There's a reset here. I'm gonna put my great axe back on. You really want to do the movement build for this. I was being trash and didn't. Not up. Spot. Also not a... Just has to go through there right now because we don't have a free death. So the main reason I run the hatch is because it has a free death and... Honestly, without it, you die a lot more than you should. It just sucks. So the main reason we don't want to go back into that cave is, like you saw, you're going to get pinned uh, probably 50% of the time. There's nothing you can do about it. You really have to get lucky and walk in and one-tap that. That's the main reason you don't go in the cave. That stuff's still down. All this stuff's still down. So our next reset. Right here. We have other people doing the Orchilium run. What you really want to do here more than anything is try and rat some Orchilium. Fortunately, it didn't work out for us there. He's going to do the same thing to us on cooldown, by the way. we, Me and him have had a battle here. Bro, oh, he got it. Bro. Get it? One more? Not gaming. Fuck. Our right, next reset. Pot. Beerman can reach up quite a bit, so you want to be really careful. Oh. And we got six Cinnabar. Let's go, dude. Oh, no, you're getting trapped again. There's another massive Orchilium up behind this guy. Drop down from right here. Again, this is another elite chest. Mine's on cooldown, so I can't loot it. But this is how you would tap this Orchilium behind him. Obviously, you don't want to deal with that guy. I'm going to show you how to reset the boss, too. Uh, well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to get the one behind the boss, and then I'll show you how to reset the boss. It's actually one of the crazy ones. you got to crouch in half the time you'll aggro, half the time you won't. You one-tap it? Okay. So we're going to wait until Berserk's up, because without it, there's no way we actually can reset this thick boy. Um, and he actually will blast our pussy if we don't. Plus, that guy, you want him to be padding away when you kite the boss that way. So our reset point is that little scaffolding. So he's he's running away. Out. What is what is that keyboard? Ooh. I don't know what I pushed. Old shift. That's never happened before. I just whoa. Hey, you kind of cute, bro. Wow. All right, see you later too, but he just gave me a kiss and just said, "See you later, pussy." One time, one time. Oh, we get those. That easy. Are you fucking serious? Your Chilium is in the video. You can see it just by this 
glowing light. You're going to see it after the node pops in this freeze frame that this glow is where Orchilium actually spawns at. And those are the locations you're going to be constantly checking for the respawns. So after a complete run and dying multiple times because I'm bad, uh, let's see what we got. We got So we got 400 orf, 6 cinnabar, 6 holium. This is pretty rare to get. And we got a void aura? I didn't even see it pop up. No dog. So it's your very first Void Metal Ingot. You have your first Void Ore, you have a Void Essence, and you need 500 Soul, Life, Death, Fire, Water, Earth, Air, Motes. Make sure you have all these when you pull up to the stone cutting table. The min rec here is going to be 50. So what we're going to do is, we're going to craft 10. This is not affected by the stone cutter's gear. Uh, none of the keys are affected by stone cutting gear. Only the stone is, fortunately. Crafted our 10 elemental hearts. Now we're going to craft our 10 elemental hearts. Eternal hearts, elements. Okay. I Yeah, it doesn't matter. These two. So now we're going to craft our 10 energy cores. We finally figured out where to put the camera, but it's a little too late. Anyways, doesn't matter. Bang. So we did all that to craft 10 energy cores. Let's go. Now we can craft our very own void bent ingot. Materials, obviously, one void ore, one void essence, and 10 energy cores. I just showed you how to craft the energy cores, but I'm going to have a picture in the description about it. That way you have just a quick reference. Hang on. You know what we got to do before we do anything that involves RNG voice. Now that we have our tinfoil hat on, we need to make sure that Everything goes according to plan, which is where we craft a void bent ingot and we get another one, as DJ Khaled would say. Fuck! What do you even do? So for you proper motherfuckers that always say to the end of the video, we got some very interesting uh, things to talk about with void bent ingots. So this is going to save you a lot of trouble. Void bent gear is literally garbage. Not good. Faction gear is better, definitively, and people who say that the item level matters are the ones that are getting farmed. Oh, oh my fuck. Kill them all. Uh, and that's as simple as it gets. PvP a lot? Void bent gear doesn't make a difference. If you PvE a lot, I, I guess maybe, but it's just not good enough to warrant the cost of actually making it at the moment. Maybe in the future, everything will be a lot cheaper to craft void bent armor, but in my opinion, uh, and well, Moreland TV's beautiful Google Doc and testing that he did, uh, it shows that it's pointless to get. It would be more cost efficient, better to just wear a normal set of luck gear um, that rolls like 2.7 to 2.8, right? And not really worried about void bent stuff. So do yourself a favor, sell your void bent uh, ingots and ores while you can, while they're crazy priced in the future. They're not going to be as crazy. And you're going to make bank now, and then you'll just be able to craft all your best stuff later. Like I said, or chilium stuff is where it's at. You're going to be able to get the Resilience Charms, which is the best trait for armor from Lazarus Imperative. So it's just something to keep in mind. Thank you again for watching the end of the video. Hopefully you got a little something extra out of it this time. Stay safe, have a beautiful day, and stay blessed. Peace!